Thank you, Sarah. We're joined by Chris Rand, Kuhate, the owner of Old River Valley Antiques, and Sam Edge, who is a vendor there. Thank you guys for coming on in. Thank yes, you for thank having you. us. Of course. Tell me a little bit about what we have here. Okay. I mainly brought vintage items. Most of them are from the 80s and 90s. Awesome. So to start with, these are Pokemon marbles. I brought two of them. And that type of stuff I know is like collectible. Yes. It's really hot Pokemon right now. Fans. Yes. And then some My Little Ponies. I believe most of these are from the 80s. Mm -hmm. And then a couple other toys that I did bring was some 1968 Hot Wheels. Oh, cool. I grew up and with they're... Hot Wheels, too. So these are the red lines. They came out in 1968, and they discontinued... The red lines in 77. So how does it work? Do people bring this into you? Do you go out and find this stuff? In the mall, I have 40 vendors that rent spaces. Okay. And then for me, when I buy product or my vendors, people bring things in or we clean out houses, mm -hmm. go to estate sales, garage sales. Yeah. I used to work for um, an estate sale company where we would go and downsize people and we'd go through everything and set up and run an estate sale and then the other stuff would go to an antique shop where they would sell it there as well. So I think that's really awesome. And you also have a, a spring vintage flea market coming up. Yes, we do. So tell me about that. That is on May 18th and 19th. Okay. It's outside in back of our building. And then we also have little sheds that we rent out for the flea market. And where are you located for people who maybe aren't familiar? We're located at 204 South Main Street, downtown Sturtville, Minnesota. So not too far from Rochester. No. And on your way there, stop at one of the two coffee shops mm -hmm. that we have and bring a coffee in and stop in. Yeah, and you're going to tell me a little bit about yeah, what's so, over here? You know, a lot of times when people think about antique malls, they think about kind of, you know, old furniture, old glass, things yes. like that. And we have a lot of different items at Old River. Mm -hmm. um, Chris does a lot with vintage clothing, so we have three vintage t-shirts here. Oh, and the twins yep. just opened today. Yep. And that one is brand new with the tags. Wow. And then we have a rolling, I almost said rolling dead, rolling stones t-shirt. <laughs> and then we have kind of a, just a cool one from a Coca-Cola. Oh, I like the Coca-Cola Yeah. One. And then, so this is actually something from my booth. This is a hand-painted mushroom cookie jar from the 70s. Uh, it's not the Merry Mushrooms. The Sears Merry Mushrooms is pretty popular right okay. now. This is something somebody made, but still a cool piece. And then something kind of unique we have in the antique mall right now is a big collection of vintage perfumes and colognes. Um, we literally have, I think, probably close to 100. Wow. Um, so this is just a small sampling. We have some opium, um, some Benetton, some vintage Calvin Klein Obsession, and then... This is a, uh, Alexander Julian, which is kind of a cool bottle. So we have lots of interesting things. You never know what you'll find when you come in. Yeah, what are some other things that you guys carry that might interest other people to come on in that maybe they don't think of when they think of an antique shop? We have a lot of sporting stuff. Okay. Like, like the Coleman Lantern here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll have to take Fish and out. lures. Oh, yes. I know we that's always big. galvanized garden tubs. Yep. And, you know, we have the general things you would expect to find in an antique store. I have a lot of glass. Yeah. Um, there's china. There's art pottery. Just, you never know. And with the, how many dealers we have, there are new things coming in every day. So So we have something from A to Z. Wow. Something for everyone. But we'll have more information over on our website for that coming up. Well, there's still more to come on Midwest Access.